am the lead park naturalist for the Burlington County Park System. It's my job to coordinate and oversee all the nature programming for the Burlington County Parks. Our park system, the, one of the main goals was to create not just a random splattering of parks that were sort of near where people live, but to create a connected system. And the main, the main idea behind our parks, if you were to look and see how they're situated, it's not a coincidence that they're adjacent to the Rancocas Creek. So what we have is something called the Rancocas Creek Greenway, which is a series of parks situated adjacent to the Rancocas, and connecting them will be a regional trail that's about 20 miles long, all the way from where the confluence is at our Amico Island Park in Del Ran, and connecting those parks that act as hubs out to Smithville and possibly beyond to the Pemberton Rail Trail. So in doing this, it's protecting not just 50 acres here, 100 acres here, but a corridor, which is very significant in the terms of, of course, wildlife, flora, but also for water quality purposes. That's a lot of land that's not developed. There's a lot of uh, parcels that are not going to contribute to runoff and uh, therefore increase the water quality of the, of the Rancocas. We do a very special uh, series every year called the Junior Ranger Program. As part of that, we do all different kinds of nature study throughout the county parks. And probably the most popular of, uh, of our Junior Ranger Program is the seining uh, and dip netting, where we go into the water and we look at the macroinvertebrates that are found. Uh, it's something that even the, the younger kids, you know, they don't get to see. So it gives them an appreciation for what's living in the water. And with the older students, ages not and up, we can actually go further into it and discuss that certain species are actually indicators of water quality. I think it's really important to get them to see a different perspective, not just walking around on land in the parks, but get a totally different perspective from the, from the water. And it gives them a better appreciation for the wetlands and the, the creatures and everything that, that's actually associated with it.